Welcome to another Signal Teardown. Today we're showing you the inside guts of Sony's Alpha 7 mirrorless camera. There's a lot going on under the hood of this 35mm full frame camera, and today we're going to show you exactly what it takes to build it. Let's go! It takes 29 screws at three different sizes to bring it all together. Most DSLR cameras use around 130 screws in 11 various sizes. Similar to the RX10, each piece of the A7 and A7R is closely interlocked to ensure a weatherproof and durable alloy magnesium body. Fun fact, the grip of the A7 series is completely bonded to the camera body versus held on with sticky tape so it won't loosen up over time. Moving on to the EVF, there's an eye proximity sensor just above the electronic viewfinder and four dual aspheric lenses to give you a more accurate and clear photo viewing experience. After removing the LCD, you'll see a single large flex that connects the screen to the main PCB. All flexes in this camera body are arranged to have the shortest runs with no wires winding across, around, or under the PCB. There's even a nice little cutout to let the PCB on the bottom left-hand side of the camera pass through the board rather than winding around and under the camera. The lower flex leads to the memory card slot. Getting down to the core of the camera, the big bad full frame Exmor R CMOS sensor is covered by heat sink tape and copper sink shielding. A couple more screws are released to expose the sensor, which is not mounted to the shutter. Instead, it's connected directly to the metal chassis of the A7, with shims in three locations to ensure it's properly aligned with the lens mount. The sensor is mounted and shimmed on one side of the metal chassis, and the lens mount is attached directly to the other side. The cover glass on the sensor is held onto the assembly with three strong clips. Something unique to the A7R is the gapless on-chip lens design, which is basically a number of really small lenses lying on top of one another to allow more light in and detect different colors, increasing picture quality. And that, my friends, is what it takes to make the A7 and A7R run. You can learn more about the Alpha line or all things Sony at youtube.com signal.